Hello everyone. You are watching skydiver.com and I am Dr. Madhavar. Today our topic is deformity of the wrist. We will briefly discussing pathologies which involve the wrist joint especially in the pediatric as well as the adult population. We will be starting off with the <clears throat> deficiencies especially the longitudinal deficiencies of the radius also called as the radial club hand. We will be briefly discussing its signs symptoms when the children presents with the radial deficiencies. what is the bane man in club classification and how to treat the radial club hand and what are the different centralization procedures then we will moving on to the another pathology which is associated with the longitudinal deficiency of the ulna called as ulnar longitudinal deficiency or ulnar club hand we will be briefly discussing its the different types and what is the treatment options which are available especially the centralization procedures which can be done to treat a child with the ulnar club hand then we will moving on to the problem which may be associated with the multiple digits such as the polydactyly we will be discussing what is preaxial what is postaxial what is the central polydactyly and what are the different treatment options along with the bloth classification and how to deal with the hypoplastic or uh, completely absent thumb or completely duplicated fingers or the thumb as well then we will moving on to the deformity involving the adolescents mainly especially the females that is the madlock deformity this is actually a problem with the growth uh, it's called as congenital dyschondrosis of the radial physis the problem is with the volar uh, uh, ulnar physis of the radius in which there is actually undergrowth or this growth arrest of the this physis leading to increased radial deviation as well as volar tilt which may needs correction in form of uh, uh, ulnar osteotomy as well as the uh, ulnar shortening and uh, radial osteotomy to correct the radial inclination then from then onwards we'll moving on to another very important disease of the carpal bones that is the kinbox disease which is also a name for the avascular necrosis of the lunate we'll be discussing the lichman classification which involves the different types of the uh, avian of the lunate that is for what is type 1 type 2 3 and 4 and we'll be briefly discussing what is the treatment options available then what are the treatment options available for type 1 type 2 and 3a and what are the different options available for type 3b and type 4 and we will be moving on to discuss the certain procedures uh, in detail such as sct fusion sc fusion proximal carpectomy or revascularization procedures involving the kinbox disease from then onwards we'll moving on to the problems associated with the tendons especially the inflammatory uh, tenosynovitis of the tendons of the first dorsal compartment that is the cavernous tenosynovitis or we will moving on to go for the intersection syndrome which may be problem with the first and second dorsal compartments especially common the rowers and the weightlifters from then onwards we'll moving on to the tendons nitis involving the flexor tendons we will brief discussing the fcr and fcu tendonitis what the wrist joint along we moving on to the last topic that is the ganglion cyst although these are very a common topics and you, you do not require a lot of surgical options but they need to be there are common indoor presentation outdoor presentations and what we need to remember is that we need to step grade our treatment starting from the conservative uh, treatments first that is the nsaids and immobilization then we may move on to steroid injections and then if still the problem is not solved we may need to go for surgical option a surgical release in case of refractory cases if you want to keep uh, uh, watching skydi.com and if you want to look for other orthopedic videos there is a lot of orthopedic videos available over the skydi.com right from the if you, that's related to the hip pelvis spine trauma all these are available on the skydi.com Thank you very much keep watching skydi.com